On Friday, August 5th, coaches and players representing 22 high school football teams arrived at Rochester High School for the 2022 OA Media Day. Rochester Falcons head coach Eric Vernon welcomed the teams and media in attendance and invited coaches to come up and speak about the upcoming season. This year, the OA has expanded into four divisions, red, white, blue, and gold. The Lake Orion Dragons share the red division with the Clarkson Wolves, West Bloomfield Lakers, Rochester Adams Highlanders, Oxford Wildcats, and the Stony Creek Cougars. Lake Orion Athletic Director Chris Bell has returned as the Dragons head coach following the resignation of John Blacksock, who was hired to replace Bell in 2017. In 2010, Bell led the Dragons to a Division I state championship and was named the Michigan High School Football Coaches Association Hall of Fame in June of 2022. I got Lake Orion returning coach Chris Bell. Coach, um, nice to see you again. Thank you. It's awesome to be back. Um, talk about your team. Uh, of course, quarterback is a um, question mark for you guys. Um, How is the quarterback situation doing? Good. Yeah, we've got a couple good athletes. Uh, we've got three really good pro three really good quarterbacks in the program. The freshman guys are young, but they're doing a good job. But we'll be solid there. They're good athletes, and they can make every throw. They've had a good summer, so uh, they're not big name guys yet. But we got some good players. Talk about your off season, of course. How's that off season been? Well, they're learning a new system offensively, uh, but they've they've worked their tails off in the weight room. Uh, they've done a good job in our seven on sevens. They've done everything that we've asked them to do. Uh, they're learning. We've made some adjustments on defense. They said a new offensive system, so um, we're excited to get going. What are your expectations this year, Coach? I, our expectation: we're going to compete for a championship in the OAA Red. And a lot of people are going to look past us, which is fine. That's that's the way we like it. But what we will be introducing ourselves to a lot of teams. I caught up with some of the other coaches the Dragons will be facing in the OA Red during the 2022 varsity football season. I got the coach of Rochester Adams, Tony Petrito, here. Of course, last season we were, they were a Division One state finalist. Um, talk about this team um, you got coming back this year. Uh, this is a great group of kids. They learned a lot from last year's seniors. Uh, we have a lot of talent. Parker Pico's back at quarterback, and he's going to be, I think, one of the top five players in the state of Michigan. His brother, Tate, is a tackle machine. And then these four guys I brought here are all pretty special. So big shoes to fill. Uh, we know our schedule is incredibly rigorous, but we're going to work really hard and try to compete and start with a good game against St. Mary's. Talk about being in the red again. Of course, um, you've had some history being in the white and in the red. So talk about being in that red again this year. Yeah, it's, I mean, traditionally, it's the best conference there is. Um, and we have mad respect for those schools, and they're much bigger than us, and they're really well coached. So we know we have to be at our best. Uh, we got to play two teams from the red last year, and so we had a little bit of a taste, but doing it every week this year is going to be even harder. We got Coach of the Cats, Zach Lyon here. Coach, um, how's the quarterback situation been since the last time we talked in the pod? Still a competition. Um, it'll be a good one. You know, at the end of the day, competition drives greatness. So um, once we hit week one, we'll uh, we'll be ready to roll. Talk about your murder's role with non-conference. Got Romeo and Chippewa Valley again this season. Talk about your non-conference getting you ready for the red. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there's much of a difference between our in-conference and non-conference game. It's all, it's all a test. But we just look at it week at it, week by week. Um, each one is worth one unit, um, and so we'll prepare for each of them the same way. I got the coach to swap, coach, coach Travis Therese Rice here, coach. Um, last season, you know, was was um, last season very interesting. Of course, um, I watched you guys play last year. Um, talk about last season a little bit, and talk about your expectations for this season. Well, last year we had to replace 17 starters from the year before and most of our players moved up from the JV so there were some development issues that we, we had to work on and, and so we give it the time. So we was, we was young. This year a lot of these guys returning. We're returning uh, 16 returning starters so we got a lot of experience and we got guys like Kari Jackson play linebacker. He's a P5 kid who's going we expect him to be dominant this year and really take us to the next level. Talk about the discipline. I mean, this is the one that you addressed. Um, this is the, my biggest concern for you guys heading into the year. Um, talk about any, any, any changes at all with discipline? Yeah, discipline is going to be the number one priority going into camp. Um, last year we felt that we, we had too many penalties uh, going into the season and prevented us going all the way. We felt that if we could reduce our penalties, no one can stop us. So one of the things I'm going to try to do this year is, is uh, one, have some referees come out and, 
go about, go over what's, what you can and cannot do. And so that's something we want to do. Another thing is we're going to bring flags out ourselves as a coaching staff. So if we see it in practice, we're going to call it in, the, in practice. So we try to minimize that. So that's one of the areas that our biggest concern is uh, reducing our penalties. And we can do that. Uh, we, we can be unstoppable. I got the co new coach of Clarkson Wolves, Justin Pintar here. Coach, um, interesting that you named your Mike Helm your starting quarterback um, on, a, on a podcast. Um, how did that decision come up? Well, uh, Mike's been with us since uh, his sophomore year, so we've we've had a chance to see him for you know two plus years now. Um, he's played backup quarterback for us. He hasn't been our starter because we had a three-year starter in Mike DePillo, um, but we know what he's capable of. The the senior class has really rallied behind him. Uh, he's had a great summer. His seven on sevens uh, this summer I, I thought were really really good. So we feel really confident about him as a leader. Um, he's going to be a little different style, I think, than what we've had at quarterback. He gives us a little different dimension, but we're really confident in what he's going to be able to bring to the table for us this year. Talk about your defense. I mean, like last season, you know, in the postseason, it hasn't been the greatest, of course. Two years ago was Grand Blank. Last year was Oxford. Um, talk about and the strides your defense has made. So uh, defensively, yeah, we, I mean, we struggled a little bit, I think, stopping the run last year, so that's going to be kind of a key for us, right? If you can stop the run and make teams one-dimensional, uh, that makes you obviously a lot better. So um, we want to be able to stop the run. We want to be able to create turnovers and generate turnovers. Our, our scheme will probably look a little different this year than it has in the, in the past. Uh, we have a new defensive coordinator, and a, our defensive staff's changed quite a bit. So there will be some, some new wrinkles, um, and like I said, hopefully stop the run, uh, generate turnovers, um, and get the ball back to the offense. The Lake Orient Dragons open up the season on Thursday, August 25th, as they travel to Swinehart Field on the campus of Utica High School to take on the Eagles of Utica Eisenhower. The Dragons' home slate starts on September 1st as they host the Knights of Oak Park. That kickoff is set for 7 p.m. From Rochester High School, for ONTV News, I am Sammy Terramina.